Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I like to steal some jewels or like to play a thief and to steal something special and expensive because I have a great idea and what we will do you will see after my intro. Let's go ahead with my picture idea and my picture idea is very simple today because I like to play a rubber, a bank rubber or a thief and I like to steal some jewels or I like to open a trezor, etc. I think it's a cool idea for a picture and now I think we can go ahead with the material we need for it. Let's go ahead with the materials I like to use for my picture and of course you need a rich and expensive object in the center of your picture but also I'm a pure photograph and I don't have expensive material here so I use only a glass sculpture and this is an optic very expensive and rich I think if we put it nice and seen and also you can also use a normal Christmas cube it's always cool on pictures or a glass drop from a Christmas uh, tree it's also very lovely and I think glass sculptures and objects are very welcome to put in theme because they are looking very cool in pictures also with the broken light inside and with the rainbow colors it can be in optic very rich and expensive and also if you don't have it you can also use a money box for example I have a money box in optic of a trezor and I think this looks also very expensive because Normally you have a lot of money in trezors and gold bars etc. And I think you can use every material you like to. And then you need a pedestal for your rich or expensive item and you can use a normal backing dish and place it on top of it or a glass or I have here a bowl or also I have here a glass hood on top of it and also you can combine all together. If I put some clay on my bowl and put it on my baking dish I have here a lovely pedestal and I can place my witch item on top of it or I can combine it and put some glass inside and use my glass hood and place it on top and also you can see you can combine a lot of cool things and to get your rich and expensive item highlighted in your picture. And to protect your rich item, I like to have some laser bars in my picture and of course you can do it in Photoshop, but I like to have it in real because of these I have a USB laser and it works with a normal power bank. And also I modified it with some tapes that it always on and this is very dangerous because you have to take care that you don't get the light in your eyes or in the eyes of another person or an animal because then you can damage the eye light and also you have to take care that you don't get the laser light inside of your camera because then you can damage to your sensor though please take care with the laser and especially with the modified laser with the tape around it and also don't buy the very strong lasers you can get very cheap in Asia because they are very strong and can make things easily inflammable and this is very dangerous so I only use very soft lasers and then I like to have a black surrounding about my rich item and for these I have black slate plates as underground and in the back I have an old black screen and I prefer the screen because on top of the screen on this edge I can fix my laser with some clay and I can arrange the position of my laser very easily and then you need to make the laser visible some smoke and for this I have my e-cigarette but you can also use some other smoking items and then I have some cotton gloves to avoid some fingerprints on my glasses and the only light will be a normal torch because I like to highlight my subject from the top and for this you need also a crossbar to fix later on with some tape or with a thread etc. The light on top of your subject and additional the light is very bright and later on I like to make a long exposure because of these I have to dim and control the light a bit and the easiest way is to use normal ND filters and place it on top 
off your torch and now I think this are all the items I used and now we can go ahead with my camera and my camera will be the Olympus Omni 1 Mark II, the one who is filming me right now and in front I have my 17mm lens and also I used a tripod and a remote switch and now I think we can go ahead with the setup. My setup is very simple, of course I like to have a black surrounding, because of these I have my black screen as background and the slate blades as underground and now I have to make my pedestal with some dishes and really you can use everything as pedestal, you can use a box or a glass, it doesn't matter. And now you have to take some tape and fix the ND filter in front of your torch and now you have to fix the torch above your pedestal. And now you can arrange again the position of your pedestal, put your sculpture on top of it or your witch item and now you can switch off the light and check if all will be cool looking on your camera and the next step is to modify your laser with some clay and now you can place it on top of your screen or on the underground and now you have to switch off the light, make some smoke with the e-cigarette and now you can take your great pictures. with my camera settings and today these are only rough guidelines because it depends how bright is your torch and which kind of laser you're using and which ND filter you're using so these are only rough guidelines for you but maybe it will help you to make a great picture. I choose the manual mode focused manually and of course I switched off the image stabilization because I did my pictures with a tripod and I triggered my camera with a remote switch and my ISO was by 200 my exposure time was by 4 seconds and my aperture was by 7.1 and now we can go ahead with Lightroom and Photoshop. Of course now we have one problem because we have only one laser and I like to have more lasers in my picture because of these take more pictures from the same position, place the laser around your subject and make four or five pictures and now we will combine all pictures together but first I will do my basic corrections in Lightroom I crop it and do some color corrections and now you have to copy your settings to all your pictures and now you can open your pictures as layers in Photoshop in Photoshop you have now your several layers and now you have to switch the layer mode to screen and now you will see all the layers overlaid in one picture and now you have to zoom in and you have to check is something blurry or not and I will see here my bird in the middle of my sculpture is a bit moved around and it's a bit blurry but you can handle it very easy you have to make some layer masks and now with the color black you can stamp all the unsharpness or the doubled layer effect away because I really don't like to have an unsharp bird in my picture and all the rest will be sharp so uh, this is very easy to do. Additionally you can also do some corrections with the reflections, you can take it away, you can darken it up or you use a black brush to erase it completely and take care that you don't take away too much reflections because the reflections will make this picture real and now if you have your final corrections in Photoshop you can go back to Lightroom and now here we will do some final corrections also have a lot of pixel errors in my picture because my camera is now a bit old and my sensor is not the best anymore and I can easily stamp it away and then I do some final color corrections and now I will use a radial filter and also a gradient filter and my picture I think is now very cool looking I love the laser effect and I think this is on a 
basic Lightroom and Photoshop tutorial. If you like to have a deeper tutorial with more information, please leave me a comment below that I know that I have to do this more detailed because for me, these are only the basics and for Photoshop and Lightroom, there are a lot of tutorials here on YouTube. And I think 99% of my followers will know the basic of both programs. So I think this tutorial in this case will be enough. And now we can go ahead with my results. Today I had a lot of fun to make this tutorial because I love the optic of laser and smoke. I think it's very cool looking and maybe in the future I do more tutorials with the laser. If you like to please leave me a comment below but now I have to inform you that I don't do my tutorials anymore regularly because it's very time expensive. For your information I need more than a weekend to make a tutorial for you because I do it in two languages, German and English and I have to find a great idea. I have to take my pictures, I have to take the video material and then I have to cut all together and to fix it and to make it great tutorial for you and it's very time expensive and actually at the moment I cannot do it every weekend so I decided okay let's do only two or three tutorials in the month but I think it's also enough and also cool because I will update you every time and you will get cool tutorials if you subscribe my channel here and maybe in the future I'll do also more tutorials but actually at the moment I don't have really the time for it but I love to make pictures and tutorials, so I will do it also in the future. And now I wish you a good time, I wish you a good light, and I think we will see us in my next video. And now I have to say ciao!